hello there and welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how you can set up winaram to communicate and manipulate windows hosts when you are using winaram there are basically many ways you can communicate with windows hosts but i prefer to use the following two cases the first one is when you are communicating with a domain join machine that will be a topic for uh, another video this time we are going to see how you can communicate with a machine which is not a member of any domain so the difference between these two is that in the domain join case you are using Kerberos authentication in the not domain joined uh, uh, case you are using the basic authentication and they require different setup so let's get to our oh let me clean this one up let's get to our ansible master delete session <coughs> and get going so we are going to install some dependencies so yum install we need the gcc the python devil and hold on for a second i took a note because i cannot remember everything and uh, for now this should be fine and until this is prepared we may want to set up the machine so here i am in a clean machine i'm going to create a new user that is called ansible start one two three start one two three the password never expires which is not the best practice this is just a demo and we are going to add ansible on Shibla to the administrators now this is done we need to get the pip because by default it's not installed and sudo python in, uh, get pip and once this is done we should be able to install some pip package by winrm very well so this is done and now let's take a look at our ansible hosts file so as you can see i have a dc which is the domain controller and the win group and in the win group i have the machine called reaper let's try to ping it it seems to be working and now what i will do is to create a directory under the ansible folder which is going to be called group wars and in the group wars i'm going to create a file which is called win.yaml so the <coughs> my idea is to st not store these uh, specifications in the ansible host file because if you have a mixed host file with linux and windows machines it it might get let's say confusing or, or more complex so the group wars uh, folder allows you to define variables for specific host groups and i would like to define the necessary stuff here in this file and this will be inherited by every host in that specific group so let's see how this looks like we need an ansible user which is going to be called ansible we need an ansible password which is going to be start one two three we also need an ansible connection which is going to be winrm and we are also going to need an ansible winrm 
transport which is going to be basic and the Ansible WinRM port is going to be 5985 and this with this our uh, management server configuration part is done now what we need to do is to allow basic authentication and we can do it with the following commands so we need to do this quick config we need to do this one which allows unencrypted traffic which is actually not unencrypted it's just communicating with HTTP but the traffic that is sent over HTTP is actually encrypted by the WinRM service and we need to enable the basic authentication so now if everything is working correctly we could say that Ansible dash M win ping win and it's come on it's working <laughs> so basically this was it what I wanted to show you this is kind of a shorter video but as you can see there were some dependencies that we have installed which is the GCC and the Python devil and uh, they are needed uh, because in the later video we are going to set up this uh, mixed environment which consists of uh, Linux hosts, Windows hosts with domain authentication and uh, with Kerberos domain authentication and uh, the basic authentication. So that was all for now. Thank you for watching.